Good morning, world. It's Michael Gascon, the Horse Guru, and I'm here with a few of my friends, and we are going to be going through horse soccer today and why this is a pivotal point of our training program. At some point, you got to get out of your own head and you got to stop thinking and just play like a kid. A lot of times, kids are very good riders, not because their horsemanship is great, but just for the fact that the horse knows what they want at all times. And as adults, we start thinking about what can go wrong and we stop thinking about what can go right. And a lot of times, we don't ride with intention. So to give a little recap before we start this game, if you're introducing your horse, I'm here on Larry. Larry is like a 60 day inside a Mustang. We have a couple colts here that are under 60 days. We have a couple older horses that were real problems, a real spooky, jumpy, herky-jerky. We have a, a Andalusian Frisian. We have a Rocky Mountain. And we have a couple horses that, that are under 60 days. So it's never too early. Once you have their head in their butt and you've gotten through the respect series, it's never too early to start this in the beginning. Just giving a recap of a push obstacle, we want to sit back on our pockets and drive that horse forward. If he moves to the right, we're going to pull him back to the left, just like that. We can even let him pass the ball so the ball's chasing him, and then we will face right back up and push it again. But what this soccer game is going to do, it's great that he pushes the ball. That's, that's awesome. It's a big step forward. But what we really want to do is if we can get our friends, our closest friends in, and people in our boarding barn, anybody we can to play soccer with us, that's gonna allow us to put us in, in basically a pressure cooker. So instead of your horse going out on the trail and saying, oh my gosh, there's a horse close to me, I'm gonna kick it, eh. Oh, that's adorable, cutie, come here. And we'll put them in a soccer game and we bump them into each other and we ask them to go towards the other horses and we ask them to listen to our leadership and our driving through all that. Then when you get out on the trail, you're gonna feel real confident just to give that horse the rein and let it walk off. And if there's an issue, you're gonna find your confidence to grab a hold of the rein and drive it. A couple pro tips on the soccer ball, if you're using one with a cover, make sure to inflate it so that it's not loose. You don't want it to have excess skin. You don't want it to have excess cover because if you do that, as you're playing, the horse can step on the cover and the ball will stop. Hear how this sounds like an old voice of experience? It's an old voice of experience. You end up in the dirt. The other thing, is as you're playing, if you're feeling uncomfortable, you're sitting too far forward. You wanna sit here on your pockets because the ball's gonna bounce off the wall, horses are gonna come in your direction and there's gonna be unexpected changes of momentum. And when th that happens, that horse's butt is gonna be the pivot point. So it's gonna to wanna to get away left or right. If that horse is rearing, if that horse is doing things, you're grabbing it in the face. If you're on a loose rein here and you're sitting back on your butt, that front end will move to, to a void and then you'll simply slide your hand down the rein, find their face, and direct them back towards the action. This is not one of those things that if you just stand there and relax and be passive, that it makes you feel better. Because when you're passive, the horse is not getting any attention from you, so they start trying to move away from the action. This is one of those things I need the inner kid, the inner child in you to come out, and I need you to push your horse into the action, even if they're not you know, physically getting in there and, and being the best player, but that you're constantly driving that horse somewhere and telling that horse, hey, get in there, get in there, because that's gonna make that horse start paying attention to you, even in a moment of action, even in a moment of other horses around, things going on. So we have a couple teams here. We have two Rocky Mountains over here and a Mustang. And on that end, we have two quarter horse Colts and then Arabian thoroughbred. You can do this with your gated horses, you can do this with your big horses, your small horses, your tall horses, your fat horses, your slow horses. This is good for any horse, and it really prepares the horse for unexpected changes of momentum. So we have three on three here. Notice we have good footing, we have high fences, all, all these things to, to keep into consideration. And basically now we're gonna play. Everybody ready? And go. So look how everybody's just pushing and driving towards their goal. We tend to think that our horses are a lot softer than they are. Remember that kingdoms rose and fell on the back of a horse. If your horse in the beginning is scared of the ball or scared of the action, that's okay. Just pass them right back into the action. Face them right back up. Just like so. There's really, there's really no place for them to go because you keep directing them towards the action. So 
it's not very likely for them to run away with you or really get to go anywhere because you keep pointing them you keep pointing them to the thing that they're afraid of and for a lot of these colts that are going to pony other horses and are going to rope cows Come on, Maggie. You can do it. Do something. Get in there. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. Keep driving. That's what we're looking for. Just that you're seeing all this action. Notice when these horses are going, they're on a loose rein. The only time the reins get touched is when we redirect them. We redirect them towards the action. It's no matter how pressured the situation, if you're giving crystal clear communication, if you're giving crystal clear communication, how clear it is. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Robert. Come on, Robert. Be tough. Let that little kid of you come out. Touch them, grab them, pull them, send them in that direction, and they will be so much more forgiving because of it. Guys, this is so beneficial for making your horses forgiving. This is so beneficial for getting your horse where it's not so touchy, where if you get off balance, it's not a big deal. If you move your hand wrong, it's not a big deal. You want them to get accustomed to that resistance to horses bumping into them, mares being around other horses, stallion being around other horses, and still listening to you. The little kids on their back screaming and asking, let's go, let's go, all that nonsense. Because if they can listen to you through that nonsense, the trail's gonna be easy. Don't make the trail where you're enjoying be the most difficult thing. Don't make that where that's the hard part. That should be the easy part. If you do this a couple minutes, if you play a 10 minute game, once a week, once every other week, once a month, your horse will be significantly different. Your horse will be so much more forgiving and listen to you. So try horse soccer at home. Send us in the comments and the emails how it went for you and your friends. Number one, I believe that you're gonna enjoy the heck out of it. It's a super fun game, really good way to bond with your horse. And the other thing, it'll get you out of your own head where you're not thinking so much and you're just driving. Remember, a couple pro tips, sit back on your butt, keep your heels down in front of you. If your horse doesn't wanna engage, Number one, remember to give them their face. Everybody wants to ride up here and you're pressing the brakes as you're mashing the gas. Give them their face and everything is loose rein, left or right and loose rein. If the horse moves away from the left, you redirect it to the right. If it moves away to the right, you redirect it to the left. As long as you're facing the horse's fear, it's not gonna take you for a ride and you're not gonna be in harm's way. All right guys, see you in the next video.